there, it's Brenda Meller, and today I wanted to bring you a tip that is regarding Calendly. If you use Calendly, this is an awesome tool for scheduling appointments, and what I do is if I'm trying to schedule a phone call or a coaching session or a webinar or a training session or anything, I send the link to my clients and let them choose a date and time, and I have this fully integrated with my Google Calendar so that I'm not holding Monday at 2 o'clock and Thursday at 3 and Friday at noon waiting for one client to respond back while another one asks for an appointment. So um, I was meeting with someone today and we were having a conversation about Calendly and she was asking about um, how to build in some buffers here so that she's not back to back to back with appointments. So I'm going to show you how to do this now. So this is how to build in buffers within Calendly in between your appointments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of my events in here. And then I'm gonna look for the option that says, when can people book this event? When you click on there, you're gonna scroll down to the section that uh, I think is right underneath here, actually, it's click on advanced. And then you're gonna see, you can show availability in increments, you can specify a maximum number of events per day. So if you have a four hour training session and you only wanna do one of those per day, you can put one of those maximum per day. Minimum scheduling notice, this is um, really helpful to prevent last minute appointment requests. And I have this one set up so that it's preventing events occurring less than four hours away. And here's what we're looking for, event buffers. So usually what I do, if this in this case, this is a webinar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a buffer for an hour before and 30 minutes after. That way, it gives me that rest time in between my last phone call or appointment and the start of this session. So if I need to get things prepped, I'm ready to go. And then afterwards, just in case my webinar runs a few minutes long, I have a 30-minute buffer on the back end of it. So then I just simply save and close. And that's it. Now I've got buffers in here. And this is really great because when people go to my calendar, they're only going to see times um, for what I have available, but it's also going to exclude anything if I have a buffer in the middle of those two appointments. So it almost operates in some aspects as a virtual assistant, knowing that you need breaks in between appointments and that way you're not back to back to back to back and you have some breathing room in between each of those. Usually when I do longer appointments or if I'm driving across town, I may extend that buffer to an hour to an hour and a half to allow for drive time as well. So hopefully that helps. This is Brenda Meller. This has been today's tip on Calendly and editing a buffer. I hope this has been helpful. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. And if you're following this on any other social media networks, please make sure to like or follow Meller Marketing. Thanks so much. Have a great day.